First of all, we've got to understand what a digital supply chain is to us, and we've got to define it. This is our definition of a digital supply chain. It's about using the information we have, using analytics to make decisions differently than we are today, but creating revenue as well as creating efficiencies around cost of goods. Motherhood and apple pie, but I'll talk to you a little bit more about it here in a minute. So for us, we've invested heavily in these spaces, and I'll walk you through this chart. It's a pretty busy chart. I'll walk you through it, and I'll start on the left-hand side, which is really around data. We typically had not used data as an asset. We used it just to collect it, but we didn't use it to really turn around and understand what decisions we can make differently. So the left-hand side is all about what data are we collecting and how are we analyzing that information. I talked about using analytics on those 40 farmer decisions. Also talked about using you know, the decisions inside the walls of supply chain, which could be external, could be contract growers, could be some other things externally. There's over 100 of those decisions and we're mapping those. And some of the key things we're doing, for example, I'll give you two examples we put analytics to. One of them is around safety stock. Understanding what do we got to build that somebody hasn't predicted and writing algorithms for that instead of salespeople padding their safety stock and also then supply chain saying, no, you can't have that and bringing down that safety stock and it really just being through intuition instead of really let's look at some analytics behind that. And so for us, safety stock is something that we have heavily invested in as a low-hanging fruit as well as crop placement understanding where we're planting hybrids so we get the best yields out of those and how we plant those hybrids back to that prescription comment if you look through the middle layer is something new for us as IT in supply chain we now ha are trying to create an open collaborative environment so that people have information outside the walls of Monsanto and want to collaborate we can create those API's into our environment and vice versa obviously a lot of secure environment but really trying to understand what information can we leverage that's out there through our collaborators, through our partners, through public information differently than we have before. That's what the middle aggregation piece is. On the right hand side are the capabilities we're investing in. So looking at, and I talked a little bit about the shop floor piece of that, but if you look around all through this, we're really trying to understand field. Which field to us, again, is where you create the, where you create the production corn think about that, that that's really the true core manufacturing site for us where you manufacture the product is the field you run it through the, the factories which actually is doing the packaging the quality etc you do the logistics you run through the warehousing and then you get to the customer this is the scope of my team and this is how we're investing again core of the information connecting end to end so that we know when we make a decision in planning especially in the field we make a decision we understand what delivery needs to happen and setting expectations for that customer. 